Now this is going to be a premium Von Spike. In 1938, this is the in-game description against the backdrop of international tensions. The Dutch Ministry of Defence decided to reinforce its navy. The projects that appeared in 1939 were in most respects similar to the project of the German warship Scharnhorst. And for economic reasons, it was decided to reduce the size of the ship. The government was inclined to pursue a project to build a 16,000 ton cruiser capable of running at 33 knots and carrying a main battery of 240 or 280 millimeter guns. In the end, however, to ensure sufficient armor protection, they had to make do with a smaller caliber of 203 millimeters. If the project had been pursued further, the ship could well have been, or could have well have received reinforced AA defenses by the end of World War II. So, paper ship, obviously, one spike at tier 9. Let's look at the armour. 25mm plating, upper and lower. And very nice fore-end armour belt of 50mm, stretching from the tip of the bow to under the front turret. Upper casemate of 50mm. The deck is 30mm. This is torpedo protection of 27. Turn that off to see the belt armor, which is 200 millimeters. And you can see that's the, the bulge of the torpedo protection. Here at the stern, again, very nice aft end armor belt, 50 millimeters. Upper plating and Aft end plating, 25 millimeters. Look at the ship's citadel. This is the citadel, nicely submerged under the waterline. Deck plating on the citadel is 30 millimeters, 40 millimeters, and here the Atwart ship is 200, and on the stern, 40 millimeters. So quite a nice submerged citadel here on the Von Spike. Now what's its thing? Its thing is it gets a very nice combination of consumables. You get 5 kilometer ship detection on the hydro, 3.5 kilometers for torpedoes, defensive fire, you get the repair party. You get a HE bombs airstrike. Like the rest of the Dutch line. Very large strike number. 10 aircraft dropping 6 bombs. That's 60 bombs per drop. 60 bombs per drop. With a max damage of 6,100. 36 millimeters of pen and 37% chance of starting a fire. So 60 bombs with this airstrike and the range is huge. 15 kilometers in range on this airstrike, which is by far the longest range of any of the airstrikes. I believe the the tier 8, the Seven Provincian, has the longest range currently in the game when it comes to the airstrike at 13 kilometers. And this is the, the original dockyard ship, 13 kilometers of, of range. The, the tier 8 gets just 12. The Johan gets. 12, the Gauden Leo also gets 13 kilometers. So this Von, Von Spike gets uh, 15 kilometers in range with these, with these airstrikes, which is massive range. 
considering your main battery range is literally 15.6. So you can be playing at max range and still have your aircraft or your airstrike available. 15.6 kilometer main battery range. Uh, the stats on these main batteries. Oh, wait one second. This ties into concealment first, of course. 51,350 hit points and 19% tor torpedo protection damage reduction. This is reinforced by having four repair parties. I am using superintendent here in the build. Currently only testing a 19 point captain. So 51,350 hit points with four repair parties. The main battery, you get three X3 203 millimeters, two four and one aft 203 millimeter guns. These have a 10 second, just over 10 second, 10.6 second reload speed. Turret rotation time of 22.5 seconds for 180 degrees. Max firing range of 15.6 kilometers. So quite short firing range with a max dispersion of 131 meters. HE and armor piercing, same shell speed, 925 meters per second. The HE has a max damage of 2850. 2850. It can pen 34 millimeters of armor with a 16% fire chance. The armor piercing has a max damage of 4800. So 4800 max damage on the main battery. Secondary battery, pretty limited. You get four twin mounted 120 millimeter turrets. 8 guns in total, 3 second reload, 7.3 second reload, or what 7.3 kilometer max range, I mean to say. High explosive shells, 1700 max damage, 9% fire chance, they can pen 20 millimeters, and a shell speed of 850 meters per second. So you get ship based. Uh, depth charges, two charges, four bombs per charge, 5k damage. So only ship based, which is, I think, a major, major weakness on a lot of cruisers. Not all, but quite a few have these ship based and you're really quite limited. You do have decent hydro, but you still have to be over the target makes it very very difficult to combat enemy submarines so this airstrike we've already covered it the only thing that's a drawback on this is you only get one flight and it has a reload time of 150 seconds but the 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 flexibility in the range and the number of bombs that are dropped 60 60 bombs per strike I can't stress enough how potentially deadly this is. 60 bombs with 36 millimeters of pen and 37% fire chance. If you can imagine you are shooting a, a French or a British battleship, just is what is what you'll be usually coming up against tier 8 tier 9 tier 10 and say popular one duncan now you've got 37 millimeters of pen so you are penning it everywhere no matter where you hit except the top of the turrets of course and the odd little bit of conning tower but everything else, you are penning. AA defense. Uh, where was I? AA defense. Uh, 56 of these, 20 millimeter. 
you get 24 of these 40 millimeter these are bow fours 24 of these 40 millimeter bow fours and you your secondary battery is dual purpose for twin mounted 120 millimeter all combined there is an average damage of 451 and a vast majority is a split between Joint short gifted a tier one subscription to Andy the Cupid yeah, joint. Thank you very, very much indeed for the gifted sub to Andy. Thank you very much. So the the average damage here is split 353 short range, 467 medium range, and 118 long range. So the majority is medium and short. But this is... Um, you've got five uh, shell explosions per flex elbow. And the max firing range is six kilometers. But this is the AA in itself is quite decent. You've got an AA rating of 90. But this is also reinforced by a defensive fire. 40 second action time. And the cooldown is not bad. 68 seconds. So the AA is good. But you're going to need good a good AA. A tier 9 with super ships on the horizon and super carriers. But the AA is decent. Maneuverability. 34 knots. That is with the speed flag. 33 base. 34 with the speed. 730 meter turning, uh, turning circle radius. Now I am using prop mod. Should you go steering gears. You can reduce the rudder ship down to 8.9. But I, I like this. I like the prop mod. So without the prop mod, it's 11.1 .1 rudder ship time. Concealment, sub 10 kilometers, quite good. 9.8 kilometers. You'll be detected at 7.3 by enemy subs and by enemy aircraft at 7.3 kilometers. So... This is the Von Spike that is currently in testing. Quite tanky. Nice submerged citadel. Decent guns, although a little limited by short range. But it's it's all about getting the combos. If you if you enjoyed playing the Dutch cruisers and you know how to aim the air strikes reliably you can get some nasty combos going you trigger you trigger fires with your main battery you wait for that damage gone and then you hit them with the air strike and if you hit the air strike properly 60 bombs potentially on a target and if you drop 60 bombs on a target a battleship for example with a a damage con on cooldown well that's potentially a dead battleship I'd like to thank you once again all for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe for more take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below and until the next time keep sailing it like you stole it